I want to wish you a happy new year, and I have a recipe for a great year for you. You know, it's interesting that every year on December 31st, the world celebrates a new year. They uh, make resolutions, they turn over a new leaf, they have a clean slate, and on January 1st, they wake up and they're ready for a new year. They've made up their mind, they're gonna change things. And usually within a couple days, they've already not fulfilled their um, resolutions, and so then the whole year is lost. But as Christians, we are not subject to that. Our days, every day can be a new day in God. And so we can look at each day as a new day, a clean slate, turning over a new leaf every day and every moment for that matter, because of what God does for us. Let's look in Lamentations verses three, I mean chapter three, verses twenty-two and twenty-three. The word says, Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. And it says in 2 Corinthians 6, verse 2, In an acceptable time I have heard you, and in the day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. So we have this confidence in God that his mercies are new every day. Every morning is like that new clean slate for us that we can walk in and we can look at it new. So if I have blown it today, then tomorrow I know, or even from this moment on, I walk forward in the newness of what God has done. He is so long suffering, the word tells us, and so merciful. And so if you are one of those people I have a good friend who told me she had the idea that God was just standing over her with a hammer waiting for her to mess up. But we have to dismiss that idea of God and we need to replace that with the loving Father that He is. If that was true, then Romans 3.23 could never have happened. Romans 3.23 says that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So. If God was waiting, if he was that God with the hammer, he would not have sent us a savior when we were sinners because we weren't good. That wasn't acceptable. He would have waited until we didn't need it. But no, he sent the savior when we needed him. Praise God, because he sees what he can make us to be, not what we are. You know, I'm sure you've heard of bulimia and anorexia. And when people suffer from these conditions, they always see fat and they never can be thin enough. Well, you know, there's a correlation for us Christians if we're not careful. We can become so sin conscious that we've never repented enough. And so we must receive what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for us. We cannot concentrate on sins, but we must concentrate on the goodness of our Lord and what he has done. When he came and he gave his life, it was like nothing that had ever been done before. In the Old Testament, God had set up this system where they shed the blood of bulls and goats or lambs to cover sins and different things like that, but that's what it did. It covered sin. It didn't do away with it. But when Jesus Christ came and he offered the sacrifice of his blood, it washed away our sin. And it not only was for me today, the blood went all the way back to Adam and washed away the sin from Adam, and it went all the way forward to take care of the sin for the last man or last person that would ever be born to live on the face of the earth. John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And Jesus has done that. We just need to receive it. So I want to encourage you for this new year. Look at every day as that clean slate, every day as turning over that new leaf or even the next hour for that moment or the next moment that you are starting afresh, that God's mercies are wonderful. They are new every morning as it told us in Lamentations and great is his faithfulness. 
So I want to say to you, truly, have a happy new year.